All right, I'm here with the coach of River City out of Jacksonville. Please introduce yourself again, sir. I'm Coach Justin Moses. I'm the head coach and athletic director of River City Prep. I saw you have some players around here. You guys have very nice looking uniforms. So you guys are you guys are ready. So you're new to the MPGAA and you're new to the uh, you're new to post grad athletics in general. What made you want to get in, uh, you know involved in this? Uh, for, well, like the last 10 years, I uh, put over 150 kids in college on uh, my own accord. And we've been watching the landscape of college football, and we've seen it with the, with the portal and, and the post grad uh, that's been growing up over the last couple of uh, 10 years. It's like this something that we wanted to put our handprint on, and we felt the need for that in Jacksonville, Florida. So that's why we're here. We've been watching the MPGA for the last two, three years. And we felt this is the best system to be in, the best program in America to be in. And that's why we're here. So, with the you know transfer portal, a lot of coaches are taking like 70, 30, like 70 percent of their team is going to be transfer portal. 30 percent is going to be like you know their four star recruits and stuff like that. So, you, you are able to kind of get a pick of a lot of these good athletes. What's your what's your pitch to these guys about why they should choose to do the post grad route as opposed to maybe going off and doing like a D one or, or I mean a D two, D three, or JUCO? Uh, well, the first thing. Or JUCO, you're wasting eligibility when you step on campus. So you're losing that those two years. There's no JUCO transfer for you. So you're losing those two years of, of eligibility and your chance to go on to that next level. A lot of colleges aren't going to spend that hundred thousand dollar scholarship on a kid that's already wasted two years. They know they might only get one year out of that kid. Um, as far as um, the, the transfer portal, here again, a lot of these kids are just choosing colleges just so it's more on the social media side of it that we're seeing. Uh, it's more for clout. Um, they go in there and they're figuring, they know they're going in and jumping into the portal the next year. So uh, this is just another way, another avenue for these young men to get looked at. And it's also trying to teach the, the college coaches that, hey, there's another avenue. This young man's going to come out with all of his eligibility. He's playing college-style football. He knows the rules. He's got the schemes down. Uh, he's got all of his grades. Uh, he's got another year to mature, um, both physically and mentally. And uh, this is just a better way for these young men to go. So you guys are from Jacksonville. That's Tim Tebow country. How do you manage expectations? Because some of these kids are, you know, they just graduated high school, and this is a step up in a way. But in some other ways, you're not in college. So, you know, how do you manage those expectations of like, look, you need to act like you're in college, but you also aren't at that level yet. You need to get better. Right. So yeah, we, we hold them accountable. So everything that we do, I'm sure a lot of the programs are doing the same thing. We're running it as a college program. Uh, we've got former college coaches on our staff. We do the college game. We're teaching the college rules. They are attending college classes. So we're showing those daily schedules that they need so that when they step onto that next platform or next four year school, they know what to expect moving forward. So um, it's a little bit of a challenge. Like I said, it's brand new to Jacksonville, post-grad football, um, that we're just starting to get our name out there, first year program, but we're starting to see a lot of good feedback coming back to them. All right. How do you uh, cultivate relationships with college coaches to get them into the next level? Yeah, so it's uh, a lot of it's, uh, we've just taken our team to a couple of the uh, uh, camps. Uh, we've walked in, we've let the coaches know this is a post grad. These are 23s, they're going to come out as 24s. And uh, we'll bring them to your camp. Um, and they get to get seen uh, face to face right there in front of the college coaching staff. So it's, uh, it's kind of a, a win win for both of them. So they get to see these kids that come out that weren't getting looks, so they didn't know it was on the radar, and now they are. Okay, that's very good. So you guys start off with a bowl game, and obviously this is your first year in the league and your first game right. is going to be in a, uh, a showcase bowl game. How are you, just as a coach, preparing for that? Uh, we're just taking it like any other game. Uh, it's a preseason game. It's kind of like uh, I'm I too in front of the high school ranks. I uh, did 12 years of high school football. The last 15, I've been in semi-pro and eight-man in arena. Um, so we're just taking it as a preseason game. We're going to go in there and uh, we're going to you know, install certain things. Obviously, we're not going to show everything because uh, uh, Coach uh, Whitehead of Prattville, we're going to play them in Prattville two weeks later. Um, so we're going to take it uh, seriously and prepare for it, but uh, we're taking it as a challenge and we're, we're up for the challenge. All right. You notice there's a kind of an enthusiasm and a chip on your shoulder from your players? A little bit, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, it's the first year of our program, and it's a lot like a lot of our athletes that are here uh, that are watching on TV right now. Um, it's something that they're trying to prove themselves to the next level because they feel slighted a little bit with the uh, overlooked in the colleges uh, of the nation. So uh, this is a chance for them to put on a national level. Absolutely. Spotlight. I, I got a chance to talk to your uh, running backs and uh, your center over there. They got a good personality. There's a lot of personal branding involved in this kind of stuff because you're selling yourself, not just the program. Absolutely. So you're encouraging them to kind of get out there, put your highlights up, and everything. Absolutely. A lot of it, and a lot of it's uh, a lot of these young men because Twitter's the number one recruiting tool now. They don't know how to set their Twitters up properly. Okay. Uh, so we're showing them they got to open their DMs, the certain information they have to have on their on their profile. Uh, so it's a lot of that learning as well uh, as far as our coaches. 
and, uh, and getting those proper looks because they were set up and, and have the right footprint. All right, well, you heard that from the Admirals right here. Good luck on the season, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.